I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue this object, please. Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? It's okay. I do.
Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Меня еще ждет работа! Нет! Get out! What the hell was that? Where's Vidic? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No!
never should have come here. You put everything on the line for what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. but a series of electrical impulses and the body a vessel to hold these sparks but it is weak in time it decays and crumbles into dust we asked ourselves then what if it might be replaced with something stronger something better so we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away? Hello. 
Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. Vidic threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. Hey. So, um, when this is over, and assuming it all works out, I was hoping I could, you know, come home. I'd like nothing more. We're almost there, son. We'll have plenty of time to talk when this is all over. We should focus on our work now. <laughs> I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make, well, mana? Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is Anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Taste of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though... I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You've certainly got away with words, Rebecca. Things are getting worse outside. What do you mean? Every day for the past two weeks, the sun has been throwing off larger and larger flares. Older satellites are starting to malfunction. I hear rumblings of recalling the crew on the International Space Station. There's already work being done as well to shield power stations and transformers on the ground. Not that any of it matters. This goes far beyond some brownouts. We all saw what's actually coming. Do you know how it works? Look. I'm no physicist, but it, it's something to do with the Earth's geomagnetic field. The flares and mass ejections disturb it, which appears to trigger seismic events. I've tried reaching out to people who might know better, but they all insist it's bunk. And I don't blame them. It sounds ridiculous. I wish it was. Best we finish up with Connor. Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. So what was it like being back at Abstergo? I didn't expect to get out of there alive. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. 
I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He'd just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent, too, sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo, though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening to me. He was raised in an animus, Desmond. There's overexposure, and then there's... Daniel. Poor guy. That could never happen to you. We won't let it. Hey, when this is all over, we should take a trip somewhere. Celebratory vacation. Yeah. That sounds nice. Now listen to you. Italy, Brazil, and the United States, all in the span of a few weeks. And you're complaining about not getting out enough? Seriously, Sean? No, not seriously. Are you mad? Trust me, no one wants time off more than I do, right? Do you have any idea how hard it is to crank those database entries out as fast as I do? The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can take that vacation. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, come. <gasps> come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. 
Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly, so I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Got some more? Let's have a look then. That won't do it, boy! Get some more and then we'll... Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from your town.
sunk. We're on our own now, sir. They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. He's not really planning to board them, is he? Has he lost his mind? He's going to get us all killed. The ship is yours, Mr. Faulkner. Bastard. They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you ask for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. K-2 
cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything in place? Oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. Connor, this tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral? He waits for you to light this signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well.
condition to fight. Need to stay away from the guards. Where are you, Charles? Gone. Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. With all your skills, you are still but a boy. With so much left to learn. Give me Lee! Impossible. He... Is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. <laughs> you act as though you have some right to judge. Uh, to declare me and mine wrong for the world. Uh, and yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done, should clearly demonstrate otherwise. We did not harm your people! Uh, we did not support the crown! We were to see this land united and at peace! Under our... <laughs> Surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. And this is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage, all noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Haytham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to this story. <sighs> Only one way to find out. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go. Across the world. Across the ages. 
some days mine feels an impossible task. But I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me. Now more than ever. I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee. We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon fall. In, either into our service or into the ground. And then, my friends, all of this will finally be ours. We have Haytham to thank for this. He and all those others who sacrificed for our cause. But he was not content merely to save the people of America, no. He sought to save those sworn to our destruction. He sought to save the assassins. Aye, it seems a mad thing now. And it cost him his life. The Assassins are a cruel and terrible coven. They speak only the language of death. Too late he learned the truth of this. Murdered by his own son. He gave his life as he lived it. In service to a dream we all share. And so we must fight on. We will vanquish our enemies. We will spread our word. And in time, my brothers and sisters, in time, we will have our new world. He sent me away. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the seven heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. I could do this all day. In fact...
Where is Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry. I believe these men meet the requirements. You believe incorrectly. They're they sick will and lead weak. me to leave. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It will take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No. Please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. 
Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. What do you need, my friend? Need something, darling? No. Oh, rude. Can I help you? You know you can. Pardon? Oh! I do not like having my time wasted. Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards! Make a sound and you die. What do you want? 
<clears throat> He's in the harbor at the Long Pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous, said he was leaving the country. I thought he was overreacting. Guess not. No! Oh. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Why do you persist? You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad, and this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will.
<laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland. Took a ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word. Why would they leave this behind? Ah, uh, long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. You have succeeded. No, I have failed. My people are gone, chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade, a sacrifice, and not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it, where none shall think to look. And then in time, in time, what once was shall be. Again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose, and that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. 
Still, you have made a difference. And you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. I know where the key is. Then let's go! Guess this is it. We're right behind you. Moment of truth. Yes. Come. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. 
of how we failed, all our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well, and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see, that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? to ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, However terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. 
There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for... Geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest... On record, satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. America has no need for Send your services, Send them back to Britain gentlemen. in a box! Death to 
be a custom down. If you're hungry, have extra. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. What? Seeing it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but... Uh... <laughs> How could this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parts and labor, which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy, not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. Too... British. Thank you. Be safe. 